Good morning, beautiful people, and welcome to another fine edition of the Hollywood Redux Podcast. Today we're getting extra super with our review of The Incredibles 2. Hey, and welcome back to another episode of the Hollywood Redux Podcast. I'm your host, Matt. And I'm Kazalia. And today we're talking about Incredibles 2, the newest Pixar release from Disney Studios. And you know what? It was pretty awesome. But uh, those of you that have never seen one of our podcasts... They are spoiler-filled, so if you have not seen the movie, don't spoil it, because it's a really fun movie, and you really want to enjoy this one live. So turn this off, go see the movie, come back and see us. For those of you who have seen the movie, let's start discussing. So without further ado, here is our review of Incredibles 2. Yeah, so 14 years after the original release of The Incredibles, they bring us the sequel, directed by Brad Bird, and this movie does not disappoint. There, uh, you know, there's a little intro to the movie, not just the little Pixar short. But uh, the whole cast, you know, Craig T. Nelson, Holly Hunter, Samuel L. Jackson, they all say thanks for coming out to the movies and seeing this. It's going to be worth it. And I think it really did deliver. Oh, man, come on, man. It just didn't deliver. I... <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? It was Mr. Incredible, Elastic Girl, and Frozen back on the screen. Oh, guys. It was, uh, yeah. It was about time. I waited 14 years for this damn movie. <laughs> Delivered. Yeah, it was a good movie. Uh, there's a lot of great action sequences, and the best part is, like, they already set up the characters in the first movie. This takes place literally directly after the first movie, so it's not like 14 years later. Um, I am glad that they actually brought uh, touched up on that, because I personally forgot just a little bit. It has been 14 years, but so it was yeah. kind of nice to throw it back there. Yeah, so Jack-Jack's still the same age he was at the end of Incredibles 1, and uh, so is everybody else, I guess. But, you know, it's... Uh, <laughs> It's really cool. It picks right up where the, the last one left off in kind of a fun, creative way. A little bit more of a serious kind of espionage type movie, like old 50s Tone suspense. definitely grew up on this movie for sure. Oh yeah, my God. absolutely. Like, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Yeah. Just like, it, it just from, I mean, compared to, what was it, like 2004, right? That's mm-hmm. when, to now. Jesus Christ, not only do we have better, like, characters, better animation, it's one of the first feature films that's, like, longer than what an hour and a half that's insane that's insane what pixar movie has ever been that long like this is incredible and oh fun thing i was reading totally random and like going into brad bird still because again he is the man did you know that he was edna in this no he was edna what a fun fact like <laughs> sorry just had Who to throw that out fun there. facts anyway <laughs> <laughs> no this I just is had awesome to get that off. you didn't have to worry about the exposition that you got in the first movie you have to roll right into it. It's a much more serious tone. The visual effects were insanely good. The, uh, I mean, there are some rooms and things that you walk through and like just the depth of everything that's in there. They like, they purposefully spent time to make sure that the light interacted with like things inside the milk crates just so it felt more realistic. And like some, even some moments where I was like, oh, okay, they're kind of stroking themselves off a little bit, but they pulled off a lot of great effects like Jack Jack licking the ice ball and things like that Dude. like that has to be insanely hard to figure out how to do and they, they it was perfect not you know? only that but we actually get to see all his powers finally all 17 like, all 17 <laughs> of his powers 17 <laughs> I, the question is how 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 if that's i'm not even gonna go into that and at all that's actually that's my favorite scene in the movie is when jack jack like discovers his powers i guess and like fully starts to beat up a raccoon like <laughs> When the entire, like, middle arc of that character is, like, him getting, like, a freaking like, rocky length fist fight with, like, cool things where, like, the raccoon gets him for a little bit, and he gets the raccoon, and then he, like, shoots lasers at him. It's the best. Yeah, yeah it's, it's awesome. It's the best. And not only that, but he figured out that all it takes is a cookie to, like, get him to do everything. I want cookie. I mean. <laughs> Poor Craig T. Nelson. Like, he just seems so tired. He seems so tired. Oh, yeah. my God. I mean, Mr. That... Incredible is... Finally, you know, I like the role reversal that happens. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, my God. The, much was, more, much more like, realistic stance on it was the way pretty a family fun to see, runs like, nowadays. Well, now they each one, like, they both got a movie, you know? Yeah. The first one was Mr. Incredible, and now it's Elastigirl. And, dude, let's talk about Elastigirl and her pretty sweet outfit and her super awesome motorcycle for yeah. a second. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Totally digged up. Like. <laughs> dude, that, then the monorail sequence where she, like, basically, like, Get supers like back on the on the line for possibly becoming legal again. Absolutely, this it was, was really such cool. a, like a good positive movie in a way. It was awesome. It was I, awesome. There was all the action was very easy to track and follow. 
even though the whole movie like moved insanely fast uh it was uh you know just i don't know it was it was so well directed i guess and the art was so well done and the depth and all the perception that they put in front of your face with like the 3d space looks so damn real so often that like you didn't have to like ever take yourself out of the story to say like this couldn't be happening right now like yeah. it was just really good it was so fast paced but there was never a moment where i was like oh this is super choppy or, or anything it flowed it was it was you honestly awesome. forget that there was a 14 year gap between the two movies like it literally picks up where again it left off yeah, and except for the, the visual effects are insanely better. Well, absolutely. I guarantee you, you notice the difference after this. Well, one. absolutely. No one's gonna say no you to that. You see like arm hairs on Mr. Incredible and stuff. It's like ridiculous. Fibers in his like coat, you know, like it's ridiculous. And everything it targeted in the movie was pretty accurate, kind of to today's like situations and stuff. Yeah. It's, yeah, without giving, I don't want to say too much, man. Hey, well, I mean, there's spoilers in this room. That's, That's what true, it is. but especially when it came to the mind control aspect of like the TV and whatnot. Yeah, and that, how... that would have scared the shit out of me as a that kid. That would, oh my god. Uh, I think I mean, that character would have frightened the hell out of me. To be honest, it scared, like it scared me now as watching it as an audience member. So like, yeah, the fight within his like hypnotized box it was a trap little thing. Too real to it was like Riddler today. mixed with Joker a little bit, yeah, and like. Dude. The fight was like super violent, and uh, like I would have that would have scared the shit out of me Again, as a kid. I think Pixar took it up a little bit and yeah. made it a more you know serious movie, it which looked was awesome. And it looked amazing, and I can't stress enough how realistic they like have figured it out. Like that's yeah. just what it is. Like pick, you say that about Pixar all the time, but they really fucking figured it out. Yeah, like, seriously. Holy shit! I love like, I love the fact that I was sitting in the theater and there was like people of all ages just laughing at the movie. Like doesn't matter all ages still laughing at that yeah and that's and you know they're doing it right the best thing i can say about this movie is for 90 minutes every kid who is under 10 years old that was in there didn't say a fucking word no they stared at the screen in complete amazement and so did the adults and there was enough jokes that like kids got that no adults got you know and there were enough jokes that like the adults got and those kids aren't going to get that for a couple of years. You know that's a great movie experience when kids don't talk throughout a movie. That's, Nobody talks. Not even like those great. jerks who oh usually talk in movie Seriously. theaters. They were just glued. To, everybody was glued Everyone. to the screen. I didn't expect to laugh as much as I thought. Like, going into it, I laughed so much in this movie. Mostly at Mr. Incredible. Oh, my God. <laughs> but, I lost it where uh, Violet snorted the water out of her nose. Yeah. Again, simple, simple comedy act. So good. Just... Yeah. So good. Really good. Jack Jack is my hands down the MVP of this movie for me. MVP of the movie. Hands like down. I know it'd be totally weird, but I feel like there's there's gotta be a way you could market like a Jack Jack laser tag. Dude. Like pew 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 pew. You know, like there has to be some type of Jack Jack laser tag. You know tag. what I wanna see? I wanna see that moment or like that day where Edna had to take care of Jack Jack. I wanna see that relationship. Yeah. Make that into a short. Like I feel like that's like what's gonna come with like the Blu-ray. Are you kidding me? It's gonna be like an extra like couple of scenes where it's like that's the bonus feature. Dude, did you not like see him strutting down like the walkway all like buddy buddy <sighs> whatnot? The, come on, the man. Candy that you can get on Main Street Disneyland. We know what you're doing. We know what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> We know what you're doing, Pixar Pier. We know what you're doing. Oh, yeah. Cha -ching. <gasps> Smart. Smart move. Opening this <laughs> ju June 22nd. Uh, <laughs> give us free stuff, Disney. Please. Anyway. Please. All, all I, I can't say enough. Uh, the entire cast was great. Uh, all the voices were great. Didn't really even touch on Bob Odenkirk uh, and his sister's character. Great like, characters, by Kathleen the way. Kinnear. Awesome. Um, great characters. Oh, yeah, my God. Like, from Get Out, uh, awesome as a as the good guy turned bad guy. I thought that was such a great turn. I honestly thought it was going to be Bob Odenkirk's character the entire time. Hundred percent. So it was a great misdirect. Twist. Great misdirect. Great score uh, by Michael and I butcher your name every time on the show. Giacchino. MG dude, just go MG. Hey, you know what? You killed it. Uh, <laughs> so I also love just really quick uh, before we wrap it up, the just the artwork like in the whole main main title sequence the end title sequence i love the the walt disney logo in the all the red you know minimalist like kind of art uh you know deco kind of cool 50s sci-fi i don't even 100%. know it was i am not very, very well educated but it was cool um but this was a great father's day i think movie absolutely you know i'm gonna um, watch it with my dad soon and ch and like and, and props to the short that played before the pixar short Bo. it was awesome uh it was adorable uh, it made me want to call my mom 
Uh, so, you know, I, I thought The Incredibles were great. If, if you feel the same way, let us know in the comments below. If there's any doubt, you don't, know, and if you don't, and enjoy if it. We just spoiled the whole movie for you. We did. I hope it was worth an, it. it. And we, we didn't talk about everything. Go there, watch it. Like, there's so many great things throughout this movie that we didn't talk about that you'll still be surprised and you'll still really enjoy this movie. We have um, to leave some things out. Yeah. Oh, we could talk all day about this movie because the animation itself, it's I, I feel so like, good. needs oh its own God. episode. Red it's Bird, so dude. great. Um, yeah, Thank I you. guess. And please, man, like, you know, Pixar, it seems like you need a new boss to run things. Like, Brad Bird would be pretty sweet. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so from the Hollywood Redux podcast, <laughs> we hope you enjoy the rest of your Monday. Uh, I'm Matt. You can find me at Matt underscore directs. And I'm Crisalia. You can find me at Crisalia on all social medias. And we're coming at you from hollyredux.com. That's right. Check out reduxgear.com for some extra shirts and fun stuff. Most of them designed by this person. Uh... <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> check it out. It's really cool. Uh, and uh, let us know what you thought about The Incredibles below. Check us out next week. We're going to be talking about Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom and getting super pratty up in this bitch. Woo.